Welcome to Rage, you nerds! I'm Mr. Cack, and we are watching Renfield's trailer. We're excited to watch this and react to it, and we hope that you're excited to watch us react to it. If you are excited, go ahead and hit that thumb down there, like this video, as we're giving thumbs up and thumbs down a little bit later. Don't tell anybody. Uh, and if you want to keep up to date with all of our nerdy content, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. We call it Smashing Smash the, the Dinghy. dinghy. Alright, enjoy! We love you! Bye! Anyways, this is... <laughs> this is Renfield's final trailer. I don't know if I've said that yet. I don't know where I am. Alright. Dracula! Mr. Renfield, welcome. I am Dracula. You will rock. A very good assistant. No, Gotta get animated, sorry. <laughs> we will protect you. You have the word of the most trusted institution on earth. The Catholic <gasps> Church. No. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's not gonna. Renfield. I love your how sole purpose in life is to serve me. Now, let's see. That looks like Marilyn Manson, doesn't he? That's just normal life again. In a way. Well, I mean, Marilyn Manson looks like a monster, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Is I'm he going with this last time? Or like, eating bugs gives him a superpower? Did we... Oh, God bless you, nuns. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Let me explain. I work for Dracula. Count Dracula? <laughs> that was it's good. the real Dracula! Some call me... Oh, that guy! Others, the Lord of Death. <laughs> so <you bring> <laughs> well, I do other stuff. Like what? Wash his cape? No, the cape is dry clean only, strictly. Yeah, I'm aware of this. It's fly, yeah. <laughs> then I think you should back Nobody ever talks about the cape. You're never cape. really going to be free until you face him. I will no longer tolerate abuse. <laughs> I deserve happiness. Let me explain something to you, okay? You deserve only suffering. I will unleash an army of death. Ooh, I just killed that whole Alcoholics Anonymous group. I don't know what it was. We have to stop him before sunset. Where do guys and machine guns come from? I am enough. I am America. Happiness. America, baby. And I take full charge of my life. Oh God! Yes, baby. Oh, hey. You know when something crazy happens and someone's like, "It's okay, I've seen way worse." Everything I saw you do today is gonna be my way worse. It's my least <laughs> favorite part of the job. <laughs> in, in retrospect, I've never been a poet or a farmer. Man, that's gonna be so it's, good. It's it, like, uh, well, uh, man, it's, okay. Yeah, okay. we'll get there, but it's yeah. good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, me too. Uh, me. All right, what we do now is we go through TJ, Jared, myself. We give our thoughts and opinions on this trailer. Not maybe the movie itself, but the trailer. But we'll probably throw in our thoughts on the movie too. And then after that, we'll do another round, TJ, Jared, myself, of thumbs up, thumbs down. And sometimes thumbs go in mysterious places, but we don't talk about that. All right, TJ, you're up first. How'd you feel about this trailer? <laughs> uh, I liked it. It, it Honestly, it's... I'm, I'm still kind of confused on where the superpowers come from, from eating the bugs. Because, like, I don't know of any other Renfield rendition that has done anything like that, but it's going to be interesting. Um, looks like it's going to be fun. I mean, come on. Nicolas Cage is, is, is Dracula. You can't beat that. Jared, what do you think about this trailer? Uh, I, I'm definitely, and I, I've, I've said it a couple times, uh, the, the trailers that we have watched before, the trailer, I guess, that we have watched before. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I, I've always felt like the story, for me, it's a two-parter. Now, I, I know they're going to go all out with this. It's set in real time. Renfield is somehow immortal, too. It never really discusses that in dracula um only that he's kind of his slave and renfield gets captured and he likes to eat bugs while he's in this padded cell uh but like renfield's such an interesting character i felt like it needed to be explored this is maybe not the way that i would have gone about it if i would have make this, if i were to make this movie myself um but it's still it, the trailer looks good enough that i still am like super excited about it not only to explore the side of renfield's character um but to see, uh, you know, Nicolas Cage play Dracula. So, uh, yes, uh, I'm in on this one. Uh, I was in on the first one. I think um, – now, having said that, do I think it's going to be over-the-top kind of – I don't want to say stupid, but like almost stupid, like over-the-top almost stupid? Yes. Yes, I do. But I, I think at it, it, some points in some movies – 
that's okay to do. Um, certain ones, um, over gore, over gore. I don't know how you would say that, you know, more gore that is goofy kind of adds to the, the funny of it. So like, I, I, I think with this, it's going to work. Um, so yeah, I'm in, I like it. I like this trailer too. I mean, it's Nicolas Cage as Dracula and Nicolas Cage seems like he's really vibing with that. So I'm all in for it. Uh, it, I mean, the effects look really cool. The gore is probably going to be over the top, but that's fine. Some people like that. That's what you want. Uh, And because it's a comedy backdrop, it's going to be, you know, there's going to be instances where you laugh at (laughs) at the the sheer (laughs) blood (laughs) pool that's occurring. Uh, Whatever. Cool. Like, whatever. I can can deal with that. I will say this about the the spiders. The more I look at it, and I think I might be read some comments, too, um, on previous ones, but because the spiders come out of a little coffin, I think the implication is that Dracula, like it's, it's either a piece of Dracula, dear God, someone's getting taken. Uh, Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson, help. Um, but I think the spiders are like either Dracula imbued or they're Dracula himself. Cause we've already seen him break apart into bats. So who's to say he didn't rip off a pinky and throw it in a box and it becomes little spiders for, uh, Renfield to eat. And the reason he makes some spiders is because, you know, F you Renfield is what, is what we've heard is what we kind of figured out from this trailer where he's just like, your you know, your role is to suffer, which is a weird thing to say to your attendant. So horrible losses three, the vampire edition seems like it's going to be one hell of a ride, uh, with the final morality clause being not that you shouldn't kill and mass murder as a blood-sucking creature of the night, but you should be very kind to your employees as a supervisor. I can't wait to learn that lesson. I can't wait to get that. I I have one concern, and I think it becomes even more apparent in this final trailer, is that this is called Renfield. It, it's starring Nicholas Holt at, and Aquafina as the two human, and whatever Renfield actually is, human adjacent, uh, ghoul whatever he happens to be um as the leads or as the two protagonist leads but man we're all watching this for nicholas cage's dracula nicholas yeah. cage's dracula is going to overshadow everything and people are going to be like man we should have just got a whole nicholas cage's dracula movie uh and so i i feel bad because i feel like i i can already see the writings on the wall this is going to be renfield but it's nicholas cage dead and loving it and we want to see that now is what i is what i fear is more of what the public opinion is but i'm sure it'll be a great movie but I, i'm gonna be honest Nicholas Cage hamming it up and chewing up not only people but screen time in every scene that he gets is probably going to be the thing that makes this the most worthwhile and that's fine that's fine they knew what they were doing when they casted him they knew exactly what they were doing and I appreciate the crap out of that but I like so can that I say one thing before we do thumbs yeah. up thumbs down yeah uh so going back to the whole spiders thing and again it never really addresses this in the original Dracula the spider specific but remember remember Dracula is a shapeshifter so Dracula can kind of become – Dracula was the original werewolf um, because he shapeshifted into a werewolf <clears throat> to have premaritals with a certain lady who he later turned into a vampire, which I didn't understand. Why didn't he just do the Dracula thing and be he's like, no, I want to be a hairy dog and try this. Uh, anyway, but so like maybe that has something to do with it. I don't think they thought that far on it though, just to be quite honest. <laughs> now, to go with what you said, is this going to be Nicolas Cage? Uh, even though it's called Renfield, is it going to be Nicolas Cage's Dracula? I did want to point out one more thing. This movie does play, t- take place like now. I mean, you can see it starting off back then, but does that not kind of open the door maybe to a prequel where we do get Nicolas Cage's Dracula for pretty much the whole film? Because Renfield, if, so for the this, I'll make this quick and we can edit this out later and you can put it somewhere else. So if you haven't, if you're not too familiar with Dracula, Renfield is the agent that goes to talk to Dracula about selling some land land in London, and then he mysteriously disappears. He's never seen from again. So then they send Harker, who Keanu Reeves' character in the Dracula movie, they send him in to pick up where Renfield left off because nobody can find Renfield. Renfield shows back up. He's insane. He's eating bugs. He gets put in an asylum. There we go. That's Renfield's character. You later find out that Dracula put a curse on him and all that kind of stuff. So now this is kind of picking up, I guess, and leaving all that out like Renfield wasn't captured or, you know, went astray. So that's the story of Renfield in a nutshell. And this is me in a nutshell. Help! I'm trapped Help. in a nutshell. I'm trapped <laughs> in this bloody nutshell. All right, TJ, where are you putting that thumb, big boy? Uh, you know, it's been it's been a long time. It's uh, It's been since 1988, since Nicolas Cage was in Vampire's Kiss. I'm glad we're finally <laughs> getting a sequel. Oh, wow. Thumbs up. <laughs> TJ way with back the, for that one, did you? TJ with the deep burn, <laughs> the deep cut. Jared, where's your thumb going? 
Well, you know, where it always does when I see good stuff. Right up where it belongs in the <laughs> up position. Uh, mine's going where I always want to put it when I see Nicolas Cage, and that's up as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, because this looks good. This is going to be great. Uh, you, I, I don't, yeah. 